This simple item right here is the Apogee engine mount adapter. What it allows you to do is to take a larger diameter engine mount and fly a smaller rocket motor in it. For example, here is a 29 millimeter engine mount kit. And say I want to fly a 24 millimeter engine in it and it just flops around. So I need something to center it up and to hold it in place. And especially this is designed for those kits that have a screw on engine retainer like this. Now this is patterned after the Aeropack engine mount adapter. So it's a two piece system with a tube and a ring to hold it in. But these are a little bit expensive. So we wanted something a little bit cheaper. So I made one out of paper. Um, this works just as well as that. That is like high tech. This is low tech. Um, we also have the Estes adapter system, which is this one here. It's a plastic system. Um, you can just slide in your rocket motor into this and I've done a video on this and then it slides in and you can hold it in that way. The problem with this one though is that engines that are really long won't fit into it. Uh, for example, here is a Cesaroni three grain 24 millimeter casing and I can put it in and it feels like it fits but it doesn't quite and it won't wrap around it um, because of the diameter here at the end. And there's a six grain casing that's almost twice as long as this. That's definitely not gonna fit in there. Uh, so the way this works is you unscrew the cap off of the uh, engine mount, you just slide in the tube. It only goes in one direction. Um, it won't go in this direction. Um, so you have to put it in this direction. Then you slide in your rocket motor. Um, there's this ring right here and I cut little scallops in the corners or on the edges so that you don't throw it away or think it's a centering ring because it's very specific for this purpose. What you do is you drop it into the cap like this. Um, then you screw it on and now your motor is in there nice and snug and it's not moving around on you. Now we have these in three different sizes. Uh, this is the 24 to 29 millimeter. We have a 29 to 38 millimeter. And we have a 38 millimeter to 54 millimeter. So you have most of all your engine combinations in there. Now here's another cool thing is that this system can also work with a little bit of ingenuity with the flat bottom retainers. So here's a rocket kit right here, and it has one of the fins and fire flat bottom retainers, and my nose cone is punching the wall here. Um, so you can take that off, and you can put in your engine mount adapter. You can take your 29 millimeter motor. Now for these, you do need to cut a specific ring, and this is just from a body tube, and if you don't know how to cut a body tube, we have a video on the Apogee website on cutting body tubes. And this is just a spacer that makes the motor stick out just the right amount. And so you're gonna to have to play with that getting the right distance of a spacer. Um, and then you can put on your, oh, you do, you do need a ring to hold it in. The unfortunate thing is that this ring won't fit into there. But this is where it takes a little bit of an ingenuity. Um, you can take another ring that's a little bit smaller that will fit in. This happens to be a 24 millimeter to a 41 millimeter. So it's a 24 millimeter, which is a BT50 to a BT60 centering ring. And that will drop in just fine. Um, and then when you put this on your rocket, um, and there's just like that. And you give it a little twist and that locks it down. And again, that's locked in place. So these are the Motor mount adapter kits from Apogee Components. You'll find them on our website, www.apogeerockets.com.